Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 9th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we give a wrap up on a world update, space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and wow, would you look at that? Did you see that massive flare on the northeast side there? Oh. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming imagery, we do have a sunspot coming antipode to what we just saw and a lot of plasma activity across the sun right now. Watch this. Wow. That is a huge flare and plasma filament eruption. Huge plasma rope involved with this event. So what did our sun just do? Having a closer look here, that plasma reached so far and it, it's almost as if our planet was affected right away. It was observed in the D region on space weather website, but look at this watch. I'm just going to put this back and forth. Look how big that was. And I'm guessing it was an X class flare. You can't really tell because it was in an outgoing position. But huge plasma involved with this. And look at that perfect rope afterwards. And I don't think it's done. And when I saw this this morning, I said, we need to be watching the antipode, which is the southwest region of the sun right now. And sure enough, it's starting to light up already. So stay aware and prepared. Luckily, this was not an Earth-facing event because that quite possibly could have been a Carrington event to end it. Wow. Looking here at the multi-spectrum, observing the sunspot that it is incoming. A couple flashes there and plasma ahead of it. So heads up, my friends and family. Luckily, not Earth-facing. And nothing here on ISWA just yet for the space prediction. Having a quick look here at the D-region absorption map, which this is where you observe the magnetic anomaly hitting Earth. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, very large eruptions. And you can see an eruption on the left-hand side there just before. And then they kind of release together. Wow. So again, luckily, this was not an Earth-facing event. But a very big flare, though. And we're, wa we're watching this Solar Cycle 25 quickly ramp up. And it is a maximum cycle. So... We're expecting it. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting steady at about 364 kilometers per second after being elevated the other day. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 44, I believe it is the same, almost an echo of yesterday. And isn't this something that all these events are happening just before the solar eclipse? Mercury retrograde, Having a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours, there's a lot going on around our planet. Heads up, everybody. Looking across the United States, seeing a small swarm here, a white city in New Mexico into Texas border. Earthquakes continuing through Utah, 2.5, and a 3.7 here, Independence, Utah. Trona, California, seeing earthquake, 2.7. You know, a lot of the activity has kind of left the coastline and it is up in the Pacific Northwest now, as I've been documenting. And we've been observing hot spots across the upper Northwest right now. Most recent earthquake there, East Shore, California. So there's more quakes around the lakes. Observing an explosion here being reported. Washington, two explosions. So one by... The Bridge of the Gods. We've also got earthquakes here. Lake Tahoe. 
Now, I point out the Bridge of the Gods. I've got another video coming up in regards to that. And there are fires now being reported at Lake Tahoe. And that's by Do Crew members. Thanks for the heads up. Overlooking Alaska, 4.2 there to report. Chiniak, Alaska. Japan, a 5.0 earthquake to report today. And that's the largest today. Largest earthquake, 5.0. That's pretty small. And Huan City, Taiwan, 4.1. Interesting earthquake there as well. Northern Philippines, 4.5. Moving southward all around the same magnitude and depth. 4.6 there. And Papua New Guinea, 211 kilometer depth. We're getting deeper. Solomon Islands, 4.8. And then here we are. This is what I've been waiting for. The 4.5, 585 kilometer depth. So please... Heads up, everybody. Next 24 to 36 hours, we've got a lot going on, and it's all adding up. 4.8 there, East Pacific rise, quiet through the Central American plate, Caribbean plate, and as well, Puerto Rico seeing some activity today at 4.4, 4.0. Wow. Active through the Caribbean plate, quiet, eerily quiet, South America, quiet African plate. This is just the last 24 hours. 4.4 here to report. Zon, Pakistan. So please stay tuned to the do. The live stream will be up just after the premiere. I give you a full update on earthquakes around the world. Having a look here at the fire situation here. Yuba City do have a fire there being reported. And as well, the fires through Arizona. And apparently there's a couple fires on the shores of Lake Tahoe right now. And I did see a live stream earlier, so I can confirm that. And it didn't really look too smoky. It looked more steamy than anything. Stormy conditions are going to be moving across North America. And dry conditions are going to persist all across Western United States. And as well, steamy conditions could, could see things change here drastically in the coming days. So stay tuned to the forecast. Stormy conditions here from Philippines westward right into India. Monsoon rains. Daily evaporation rains through Papua New Guinea. Storms through Australia and New Zealand now. And watch for that wicked low to head eastward. Also, a lot of fires being reported through Africa. Dano and Angolo, and as well, Congo region. Many, many fires. Having a look here, most recent volcanoes to update. Sange in Ecuador, Ibu, Swiss and Ejima in Japan, Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Nirigongo in the Congo, of course, Semeru, Indonesia, and Luwatolo today, Dakono, and uh, Karamiski. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today. And the situation in Africa, you can literally see on NASA Worldview, just giving a quick show here of the dust storm that is still going to be moving across the Atlantic, heading towards Venezuela right now. And it looks like it's grabbing just a bit more before it winds up into the Atlantic Gulf. Hot spots as well being observed here on NASA Worldview. So we can see Africa with all of its hot spots and as well the fires because it is very clear sky and dries dry through there. So massive fires going out there and as well the fires are starting through Arizona and Utah, California. That's the Arizona fires that are going on. And stay tuned, I've got a very informative video coming up either tonight or tomorrow. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss the update. Very important video. And I want everybody to please be there. Having a look across even Florida, did you see all those hot spots there too? So yeah, more in depth coming soon. Having a look here, the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth. And of course, morning dew, daily events worldwide. Going to start here, Calgary, Alberta, as it is extremely cool. It was only five degrees Celsius today, 
and it is June 9th. Now we're going to see the warm temperatures come back, but it's not going to last forever as the very interesting path of these low pressure systems through the foothills overlooking Alberta here this week. We will see a little bit of extreme weather with that system that's going to be pushing through, but it's most likely more action eastern and southern Alberta and as well east of Edmonton and then through Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Now that's a different story. You're going to see some very extreme weather and possible tornadic conditions. So heads up my Canadian, Eastern Canadian friends and Central Prairie friends. As well, we've got thunderstorm conditions moving into Ontario this week as the Alberta Clipper moves southeastward and then brings about some pretty cool temperatures behind that. Watch for a big temperature transition here in the next week for Ontario. No gulf systems forming just yet. Definitely keeping an eye on the tip of the gulf right now. We could see a low pressure system developing there. And then west coast here, you've got a system that's going to be affecting us the next five days. Throwing moisture and as well some pretty cool temperatures, believe it or not. Uh, when it should be warm temperatures. But uh, yep, got a lot of strange things happening across the northern hemisphere. Southern Hemisphere seems to be going beast mode right now. You'll see. Overlooking the Atlantic right now, it looks like this low pressure system might be able to battle that intense high pressure through the Atlantic. So watch for the forecast to maybe change in the long range for the United Kingdom. That system could be affecting you. Low pressure system finally moving out of Turkey and then another one moving in through Central Europe and as well parts of northern coastlines and eastward watch for that system to affect you long line of moisture with that not much has changed here for the forecast over india still have that it's going to be a devastating low pressure system affecting bangladesh and then it's just going to grind its way westward over the next five days through india so heads up friends and family around the world a lot of rain moving through the Koreas and as well through Japan this week. Could see some pretty intense weather, southern islands of Japan and as well the South China Sea. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia. Could be heavy at times through Papua New Guinea. And then as well, watching a very cool Australian continent right now as that low pressure finally grinds its way towards New Zealand now in the long-range forecast. So not much of a break for them. They're just about to enjoy their last day of no rain. And then interesting development here. You could have a low pressure system doing the same thing that that low pressure system just did uh, through parts of southeastern Australia. Could have another one developing here, and this is what I'm afraid of. Watching the systems going beast mode here, you're going to see it real quick. Overlooking Hawaii, no major changes there either. South America, no major changes with their forecast. Storm still. Paraguay moving westward into Panama. No major changes affecting Africa just yet either. But in the long range, definitely, as forecasted yesterday, I was watching this low-pressure system, which most likely is going to grind its way into South Africa. Long-range forecast. So stay tuned to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and The Daily Dew, where I give you the full five-day forecast, world weather. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. As I said, our Southern hem Hemisphere is about to go beast mode. Look at the size of this low pressure system. And as joining forces, it's getting bigger. Stay tuned to the do. Please share with your friends and family from around the world. Much love and prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Much love. And stay cool. And in love. And inspired. Bye-bye. Enjoyed today.
today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.